So I'm going to ask you this question because I'm not sure whether you're still going to be an actress or you're, you are an actress because you want to move to the Himalayas, you've discovered Ayurveda, you are a vegetarian now, you've sold your Mercedes, <laughs> yeah. what's, hap what's happening? I mean, well, I, even I don't know what happened. I think um, uh, life transformed for sure. Uh, they say, you know, tragedies are the deep doorways, you know, tragedies open the deep doorways. So. Whatever happened in life, I think when I look back, it all sort of uh, helped me to reach here where I am right now. And Himalayas, definitely, there was a point where I didn't know what to do with my life. I had like so many questions and I was like so sad and depressed. There's this dialogue which comes in Mazan, which he says, you know, Sala, itna pain kya karna hai? Like, even I was in that phase where there was so much pain and I didn't know what to do with it. And uh, there was the people who said, you know, drink, party, it'll go away, just chill, just take a break, go vacation, did everything, but still, it was still there. And I, I needed to find something where it gave me some stability and uh, it's not the same loop. You do something, you wake up next day again, you feel the same way. And that's when Himalayas happened. From Himalayas, yoga happened. And from yoga, vegetarianism happened. <laughs> and then from that, all the materialistic pursuits, I think it all just went away and I love, live in Pondicherry now. In Pondicherry definitely I cannot have a Mercedes. <laughs> so yeah, things just started slowly going away. So you feel you're a new you? Absolutely, absolutely. I think uh, what I feel is that until the age of 23 or 24, uh, I don't know the one I was. Maybe until 18, until 17 before coming into the film industry, I know the person I was and then I sort of uh, lost that person, lost my roots and disconnected from the true uh, self and those years were madness and now I know that these three years are the ones where I feel myself, I feel that I know my true self and my personality and my, uh, like when people say, you know, be yourself, what is being yourself, that answer I found now, I feel. So you talked about the problems that you faced, right, and, and there are some people whose personality says, Okay, I got all this shit happening in my personal life, but I'll put it aside and I'll concentrate on my work. There are other, it all depends on your personality, of course. Then there's another kind of person who says, I'm sorry, but my personal life is impacting my professional life. What kind of personality is yours? I need to fix my personal life to work on my professional life. I, you can't I just think, shove it aside. No, I okay. cannot because there is this mind who is constantly talking to us and, and I'm somebody who is very... Um, very sensitive and very vulnerable and I like to stay that way because that's what helps me to be an actor right. and uh, and I've sorted that this lifetime my dharma is acting I know <laughs> because how much ever I try to run away from it it keeps pulling me back into it and I think it's something that I've been most loyal and hundred percentage committed to so and I know that I need to fix my personal life for me to peacefully work and and I think that um, that's why I couldn't just uh, I had to take a break and I need to work on myself. So I did things like uh, there are people who advise you to just uh, drink your sorrows and just just ignore, ignore. But you know, every ignore banal, it, it keeps coming back to you, and it shows on your health and stuff like that. So I had to I had to sort it out. Yeah. Okay. And I still, if I have any problem, even if I have some a problem with him, I call him and I talk to him and I tell him that. I have this problem, so you know, let's talk about it. I, I am somebody who confront. I, I have no problem with confronting people. And in the industry, that rarely happens. People never confront. They always talk behind you and they always have this million things in their mind about you. And then they'll wear with them. But I'm very com comfortable confronting. I need to talk open. Even I think in. <laughs> <laughs> one day we were doing this scene and um, that trailer lo vandirukku and the thanni adichittu edukra mari scene so and the scene pannite irukumbodhu avanga vandu avangaloda queue la eduthu mudichitaanga so adukapra dinner break ponom so dinner break vittadukapra da enakku main ah enoda wide la eduthaanga middle la eduthaanga adukapra da enoda close up so avanga pannite irukumbodhu we were very involved and we were doing and all that after that, when I did dinner make, I did a shot of my shot. It was night also, and they were all tired. And they were all tired, and then, and then um, other two actors, they started talking to each other non-stop. And I got so pissed, and nobody is giving me that, because I take it from them, you know. 
and then i went and told her that this is not done you know avanga cooperate panna maatengida avanga rendu per pesitt irukanga ye ipdi pesitt irukanga you go tell them you know they have to support me otherwise i'm not doing i was such a avanga frame le illa inge irukum short right avanga apdi sutti ukkandirukanga illa sechukla camera nadulu poondirda irupanga ana avlo emote panni avanga pesna and look moda kondu correct a irukum yeah so for me enakku vande I like to express when I do a scene I like to feel it in my heart and that's what comes on my face it need to come in my eyes so when I am expressing something back of mind la vandu vera edach thought vandirundha I won't be able to do it I I get disconnected so for me it's extremely important to sort out my personal shit whatever it is before coming to my work hi i'm amla paul you're watching me on film companion south uh, if you like the video please like share and subscribe thank you